Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. All right, before this is even said out here, from what I've seen, from what I'm being told, this is not meant to to be drama, well, this this video was not meant to be drama. There's two people. It's um, Okayu and Sheena. Okayu, of course, from Hollow Life. Sheena from uh, Nidhi Sanji, talking about their experiences in both of their uh, GTA role plays. Because Hollow Life recently had their GTA role play. Niji has had it before in Japan. Um, there's no need to hate trying to make the best out of the situation they find themselves in. At least they're not going around talking s to private discords or something, or singing uh, anti songs or stating PGM. Those are different situations. Basically, nice to see even with all the drama and terrible mismanagement in the GEN, KR, ID, etc. The older Hollow Life Nidhi Sanji friendships remain strong. I'm glad to see those friendships. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh my god, how dare they be friends with someone in a different company. No, fuck it. I'm glad they have it. I'm really glad they have it. Let's hear おかゆはメカニック。シーナさんはカフェのジョブについていましたが、もし第2回があるならお二人はどんな職業に就きたいですか?とのことでございます。いや、見てましたよ。おかゆがもう下着姿でなんかもううろちょろ。なんかずっと
So it's kind of like Magic the Gathering Pokemon trading card game type of thing. And here you have Takanashi Kiara, which has some Louie in there, some Kiara in there. And then again, the, the supporter cards and the, the power up cards and things like that. You have the Suisei deck, which has a lot of Suisei in there, of course. Uh, and then you have a lot of booster packs, a lot of booster decks and things, uh, you know. And, of course, her specific energy card. And you have the Kobokanaru deck that you can create. Muna Hoshinova is there. Konokanaru is there. Kobokanaru is there. And uh, more Muna. And, again, the same type of, of booster uh, assistant cards and also or you know power cards or whatever you want to call them and of course the uh, energy card for them. this is all because they're really promoting all this stuff and then again uh tokino soda deck and aski deck two things is it a reference for building your deck or add your favorite cards and enjoy the game this is soda deck as we had seen before this one's a little bit different though because you have a coyote card in there you have um the other ones in there you have some other other energy cards in there and here is the aski deck with all the aski cards in there and of course, the same kind of boosters. And this is nice because, I mean, if you don't know how the game works, you can read their rules and everything on the official uh, website that they have for their card game. You can look it up. It's on their official website. You can take a look at it. And it gives you pretty much, I think, in English as well, a lot of the explanation of the rules because they know both EN and JP are going to be dealing with this. They're going to be going through this. Primarily, I think they're starting in JP first. A lot of these things are in JP, but I'm pretty sure the EN side is going to be doing something as well. But it's nice. I mean... For an agency to make a trading card game is really following Yago's uh, words of wanting to connect the fan base more to their talents, not just by sponsorships, not just by things like that, but actual things they can hold in their hands and actually do something with. Advent has just released another song cover. They've released it recently. It is covered by Hololess English Advent. They released it on September 25th. It premieres it, when this was done. It was on this this post was done on 24th, but it's way past that at this point. So uh, September 25th was when they put it out. And of course, it's right here. And it is uh, copywritten. So I'm going to be talking over the sections where you're looking here. Uh, just giving you a little bit of an intro. And then, we, of course, we're going to go to, to further parts. Uh, they have the intros for each one of them. Bijou, of course, you have Narissa here in the beginning. And um, you have, of course... Shiori with the legs, the legs and thighs, and you have Uwawa with her assets, of course. And here you go. So yeah, that's the that's the cool things they're having here. And of course, I want you guys to also be able to listen to this uh in your own time. I am, of course, just giving you little snips and pieces. Of course, I can't put too much of it. Of course, little snips and pieces. Very beautiful singing from all of them. And, uh, you know, YouTube copyright people always make it hard for you to be able to do any of this. So just showing you what I can. And of course, it is a cover. So it's not going to be a lot of times covers aren't fully animated from any agency. So, of course, you know, they have all four of them that I'll, you know, all five or whatever, five of them. All of them are there. My, I can't count for my life. It's just, they're all there enjoying their cover song. So I'm glad to be able to show this to you. And of course, take a look at the Hololive English channel. It already has 178K views and maybe more when you get to see this. And this is just a wonderful thing to, to behold. We have something here by Mori Calliope. They, uh, I did have recently this Annie box that popped up. This is more information. This was released on the 24th. It was basically saying, that there is a specific time when they're doing a collaboration with Calliope Mori in regards to some Anizu sake, their own sake. They have their own Sakura sake, it looks like. that you can buy, you can purchase it, and it's a really, really, really nice bottle. Holy crap, it's a really nice bottle. You can purchase it. Um, I'm pretty sure the Hollow Live is going to have uh, their store for order reservations, detail reservations, things like that. They have it here. As I covered before, I covered it in another section. We're having it here of Mori Calliope, uh, having a Bistro Cafe with Calliope Mori. Opens in Harajuku, Harajuku, for a limited time only. Of course, you can make reservations, things like that. We're going to just be talking about Yamada here. And also, here we go. It's cute. I want to go. Morizakura Aguruyo. And translating the post, they want it. So it's just a fun moment with Calliope Mori talking to one of her uh, senpais at this point, because I think Hollow X came up before Hollow Myth, I think. So it might be Senpai Kohai, I don't remember. But it's her JP, JP brethren, and they're having fun. So yeah, it's never near me. It's unfortunate it's not near any one of us. It's in Japan, only for people in Japan, and only for those people there. So that is, of course, it says drinking alcohol is prohibited for anyone under 20, etc., etc. The prohibitions that they have to have there. So that people know this isn't just, you know, you can freaking do everything you want, that type of stuff. You know? You know what I mean? Have an upcoming event. Get ready for the first ever Vishojo Stamp Rally. Talents will be competing 
to see who can collect the most stamps fastest within a 12 week period. Want to be involved? Want to be involved? We'll be releasing a digital stamps cards on October 1st. And of course, that's the thing. Henya is recovering and she will not be participating. All right. Are we going to watch pin dry for two hours? You ready? Also curious about this. It's in a clear for others to collab with them. No, it says talents will be competing specifically. So it says right there, stamp rally will be a competition for V Shoujo talents only. Digital stamps and cards will be available on October 1st for you to keep track of each talent's progress. So they're going to be doing that. It's it's it was a bit confusing. So they had to make sure that people will uh, be sure of what's going on, of course. And here's the it's almost like the event was made for Zentrea. Can I be a V Shoujo talent? I promise I'll be good. <laughs> people are like, yes, let me in, let me in, coach. And of course, again, Kenya is still recovering and people are saying, um, please tell her we hope she feels better soon and keeping her in her thoughts and prayers. Of course, she's suffering from the long 2020 virus, which when you have the 2020 virus, as you know what it is, sometimes it can have long lingering effects in your lungs and in other parts of your body. And that's what she is going for. Uh, she's having to deal with and she's taking her time off because of course, you know, she wants to stream. She loves streaming. She's like myself. She's addicted to the grind. But even if you have the grind, you have to make sure to keep yourself safe. That is the most important thing to keep yourself safe. Hope she gets well soon. Get well soon, Henya Dayo. Yes, of course, get well soon. And good luck to everybody who is going to be a part of the stamp rally, which is all the Vishojo girls. I'm sure Kudo is going to be a part of it too. All Vishojo talents involved. A short but sweet stream chart thing that is happening uh, by Peak Views. They're doing a little bit of a stream chart of all the TwitchCon people. Hassan Abi is the top one. Top TwitchCon San Diego 2024 channels. Hours watched by peak viewers. People who are streaming during TwitchCon specifically, I believe. Iron Mouse had 240K uh, hours watched and peak viewers, she wasn't in the top, but that's because a lot of these people are freaking huge. Like Hassan Abi, you already know, is pretty big. Uh, Nim, NMP LOL is also pretty big. Elf U, Lacey, and Stable Ronaldo are all pretty big. Hours watch though, for not being in the top five uh, peak viewers channels, she did still have a ton of hours watched, which is amazing for Iron Mouse, representing the VTubers in this stream chart. Congratulations to Mousy. She's doing an amazing thing right now of a subathon where she is actually giving 50% of what she gets, net what she gets, which is after Twitch is cut, giving 50% to the Amino Deficiency Foundation, which is a something very near and dear to her heart and near and dear and making, you know, her helping her in her, her struggles and getting her what she needs in many situations and other people like her. She's been able, thanks to you guys and everybody who does support her, uh, she's been able to get a lot more support for her situation and is in a lot better place now. Kaysan Socho, our social, is doing something for Fanbox. It is the President's Bromide photo went on sale today at Fanbox Print, the printable Lawson Family Mart mini stop stores nationwide. Those are ones in Japan, just to let you know. Unless I think there is Lawson in like Canada, maybe? I Correct me if I'm wrong. But Family Mart mini stop stores are in Japan. Pixiv Fanbox is primarily a Japanese thing. It is a place where you can support your creators in different ways. Like, for example, I support Delutaya through that, uh, through a Pixiv Fanbox um, membership. I do uh, support her with that. And this is a place where Bromide Photo went on sale. And this is uh, all her information here. Keisan, these are the ones. 300 Japanese yen. Uh, the large size, 2L size. It's 500 JP yen. For this one, of course, of course, of course, they have to uh, watermark this because people will use it and they'll probably try to sell it themselves. I don't think she minds people using it like in like getting it for their personal stash, that type of stuff. But some people try to commercialize it. What I mean by commercializing it, selling these prints themselves on Etsy, on things like that. That is the issue that they have to deal with. And that's why they uh, Kason decided to put a ton of watermarks, not just a simple one, a full of watermarks because she wanted to prevent that from happening. Pixiv Print is over here. It's explaining Japanese, but Pixiv Print from what I got, the fan box print is you buy it, you take it to a lot, you you take your code or whatever to a license, etc. The ones, the mini mart, the, the uh, other ones mentioned here, the mini stop family mart, you take it to them, they will print it out for you and then you can take it home. They'll print it out with poster paper or whatever it is that's special for this. Uh, and that is what you, you get. And that is the advantage of doing this. It makes it cheaper for you to get and it makes it cheaper for uh, the person making it. So they don't, they don't actually have to make the poster. You can go and get it printed at a place. You know what I mean? And um, it's a one use, one time use thing. So it's a one time use code. It doesn't get used very many times. And uh, after that, if you want reprints, of course, you have to pay the extra for the reprint. This is just for one print.
And here is Kason continuing to explain it a little bit. Uh, fan box prints went on sale today, but due to system error, Dosukoi Kason was printed instead. Due to system adjustment, we have temporarily suspended sales of idle Kason. We'd like you to know, we would let you know when we resume operations. We apologize for the inconvenience. For those who have had the Dosukoi Kason printed out, we will mail you the correct Kason. So they are correcting this Kason. Of course, you're going to have issues. There's always going to be issues. But those who only got the Dosukoi one and wanted the idle one uh, are going to get the correct one one mail to them as long as you let them know that you got the wrong one printed like they said contact us with the details below so there was a little bit of a glitch going on and they are fixing it Kason is fixing it, and that is a very good thing and i'm glad that Kason is having something like this happen for them happen to them and creating this for the fans as well like i said as you can see here it is on on poster paper it is glossy it is a poster print. It is a high quality print. That's why they have it at those Foundy Mart locations. Because if you print it out, you're probably not going to get a good print. So I'm glad that she has this. And congratulations to Kason again. Vispo, as shown here, is having Vispo JP is announcing their 3D debut of Hinemosu, which is Yano Koromu, Sumigi Kokage, and Sendo Yuhi, who happened on October 1st, 2024, and 1900 JST. What do people have to say about it? That's really early and they have the in patch 2 happy for them already. Ui Sensei's newest daughter. Oh, Yuhi is Ui San's that the Ui Sensei's newest daughter. Ui Shigere Ui is the mom of uh Subaru as well. Didn't she just debut four months ago? That's quite an impressive speed. Kinda, of course, let's not forget Brave Group did some 3D debuts for members who made their debut in just a few months. Brave Group does a really good job of trying to keep their talents in the agency. Let's not mix words here. They are doing this to make sure the talents are happy, to make sure that the people who follow the talents, the, the people who follow the agency are happy. The fans are happy. This is a very good way of doing it. Unlike another agency who will not be named, the Black Company, as you already know, the one in VTubing that we all talk about, they don't want to make long-term investments, not even short-term investments for short-term gains. Uh, they just want to get money coming in. But Vispo and Brave Group are doing short-term investments like this to do long-term gains because they see very long-term gains from this because they can be used and benefited from in the community. Uh, 1900 is going to be the start, which is 7 p.m. JST, since it's Japanese. Uh, 30 minutes and 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes each one. And they're all going to be raiding into each other. So here's their announcement. It's been decided that the 3D unveiling will be held. This time we'll be unveiling 3D images of three people. Distribution start date, October 1st, Tuesday, 1900. This will be really broadcast between three people. Um, It'll be on each individual channel. Please look forward to the broadcast on the day. And then, you know, looking forward to it. Common, let's go wild. Can't wait. And then you get you get the people um, who are, of course, always, always, always. You find these bots everywhere. The bots attack. You had a, a good message up here who got 1 million views, which is why this is the bots attack. Got 1 million views. And he started getting the freaking bots attacking. All in the same darn names putting uh, emotes in here and everything. Like you make a 3D debut and the bots attack. <laughs> it always freaking happens. Why? Why does it happen? Because they have to take advantage of it. Because look, even these little things are getting at least some views. People are realizing who the bots are and not giving them any views, but some of them are getting quite a few views. So that is what happens, unfortunately. I see Sylvie had their 3.0 debut earlier this month and uh, it came into my eyes because someone was mentioning it to me. And they had a lot of wonderful things. They've, you know, having merch, uh, merch drops, things like that, sweatshirts, other places to do merch, other fun things like that. So they're mentioning all these things. I see Sylvie is a DJ Ice Dragon who is on Twitch and is a, a uh, medium to larger size creator. They're having things like this smug little thing also come back after debut. So that's a little mascot. Either that or they turn into it. I don't know. Uh, also, not only we're we debuting, but we're on the front page of Twitch September 14th. A great opportunity. So they were basically had the, the, the front page roulette that happens with Twitch. You have here streaming every day for two weeks. They were streaming all the way to the 29th. So this is there. They have a lot of things there and a lot of goals that they were trying to achieve. Some as you can see here, uh, these I'm assuming are uh, money goals and the incentives are our sub goals uh commission sfw docky and things like that because dockies are expensive to commission like i think <clears throat> i think i was looking for one as well commission a docky and i think it was like 200 bucks or something to commission it yeah hello my name is icy sylvie your resident degenerate and caffeinated gremlin decided to finally meet you in goddess form that is their new goddess form here of course giving you guys a little bit of everything 
that is their 3.0 and they have you know the yandere form other things there they're say they have the thing to be able to say hello this is their merch that they dropped it's very nice to see this happen very nice that they were able to get merch and uh cannot miss icy sylvie debut right now there a lot of things happen with the icy sylvie you have alice vu who's also doing some you know uh the official debut illustrations more illustrations just giving you the full thing also she had her birthday on the uh hag maxing on september 24th which is more recently and we had uh thank you all for the birthday wishes you made them feel very welcome and energetic on stream and finally and it says thank you for the birthday wishes you made them feel really good on stream and you know the the, the illustrations are here happy birthday uh additional replies you're a great hon happy birthday beautiful love you hope we can do it next year and there we go so that was something that was put in there and uh Congratulations and happy birthday to them too. Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase, everybody, where I like to showcase up and coming VTubers, VTubers who already have a little bit of a community, but don't have uh, the views that maybe they deserve. And uh, just to bring more positivity to the community, more community here and more pushing others up instead of trying to push others down with, you know, docs and things like that. That's what I'm trying to push within this segment, uh, sharing the love that was shared to me. This is Lissa, Merciless. We follow each other. I, I uh, now that I have this here, I want to at least show them this. They are a fallen Valkyrie VTuber and they primarily do 18 plus streams and like not really like really bad streams, but you know, they'll say the curse words and things like that. So just let you guys know from that one. Here is their uh, model on the Twitch side there. Uh, we're going to take a look at a video soon. We're going to also take a look at their about section. Uh, fine, if you want to hang out for a bit, says Merciless Lissa, your Twitch host. Join a friendly community for fun gaming, creativity, and chats. We're all around good vibes and laughter here. Come hang out, relax, and let's make awesome memories together. See you on stream. So wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see this. Also, let's take a look at their 1.0 You guys make me want to throw up. Hold on. I'm on the wrong screen. Look what you made me do. Somebody test the bonk so I can see if it worked. Ho, ho. Yep, okay. All right. It works. We're going to zoom in. Okay, we're going to zoom in. We're going to talk. So yeah, a little bit of craziness. The YouTube and everything, of course, is going to be in the description below. Uh, I'm, of course, always put out their their content and their channels because that is the whole thing about this. A VTuber showcase without the content and the channels putting in there is just basically, you know, you can still showcase them that way. But I actually want to uh, have people check them out and see if they want to interact with them. So thank you so much, Merciless, for being a part of this VTuber showcase and for allowing me to show you on my channel. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.